girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto lasagna. So this is one of my absolute favorite recipes that I think I've ever made. Um, I'm gonna show you an easy version of, you know, my lasagna recipe, but I also make my own sauce and um, if you guys wanna see that version, let me know. Um, but I know some people are just like, they don't have time for that. And they're like, we just want it easy, delicious, and that's what I'm gonna give you today. So I'm gonna go over very quickly our ingredients. We're gonna go step by step. I'm gonna show you how this turns out. Oh my gosh, like cheesy and delicious and perfect, where you're not even gonna miss the pasta. So anyway, let's go into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. So here we have our zucchini. So we use two zucchinis, um, depending on how big your, you know, your dish is, but this is the size of my dish here, which is, I would say this is what, like a nine by, nine by four or something like that? I don't know, the size. Um, and I use two large zucchini. So they do have to be large. Um, then you can use ground beef. Today I am using my Butcher Box Sweet Italian Sausage. So this is absolutely delicious and I, I love it with, you know, when making either like a meat sauce or in this case lasagna, I love using uh, the Sweet Italian Sausage. So that's what we'll be using. Um, and there's a link down below if you guys want to uh, check out the Butcher Box um, promo that we have going on for the month. Uh, we will also top it off with some of the Asiago cheese. You can use Parmesan. I'm just going with Asiago. Um, we'll have our ricotta, our eggs, our sauce. One thing really important with the sauce, okay? So whether you're keto, low carb or not, you always want to find a sauce that has the least amount of sugar just because sugar is not good for our body. So um, I'll show you really quickly, even though my label is a little, a little messy. But you'll see here that this has six net carbs per half cup and then you subtract two fiber, which ends up being four net carbs. So even if you're not keto, always try to find a low sugar marinara because you don't, there's some that have like 30 grams of sugar, 28 grams, like you don't need that in your body. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get started. Our first step is going to be our zucchini because you do have to let it um, lay out and sweat. Zucchini contains a lot of water, and if you leave the water in there, you might end up with a mushy lasagna. We don't want that. So I'm gonna show you, I actually already have some pre-sliced, um, but basically I will use this little guy right here, and then you're just gonna slice it across. Be really careful when you're doing it. It sometimes comes with a little stopper where you can actually um, you know, slice all the way to the very end. I did not have that, so I had to be like super, super careful, but this is what it looks like. And um, when they're sweating, you will just pat down all the water, okay? So anyway, so this is what it'll look like. It's gonna be nice and dry at the end. And then um, once you have your zucchini all laid out and ready to go, you start with your sauce, okay? And that's what we're gonna move, um, move on to the next step, which is our sauce. And um, yeah, this little guy here, I just grabbed it at my local Ralph's. Um, probably like three or four dollars. Uh, it was on sale. But anyway, you're gonna pay a little bit more for a sauce with low sugar because um, usually companies that make low sugar marinara sauce are a little more co like conscious and cautious with the ingredients that they use. So anyway, let's make our sauce. Let's move in um, over to the stove and I'll show you how I make it. You guys, this is so delicious and I'm just so excited because you guys are gonna be obsessed. Okay guys, so before we get started, we have two garlic cloves here, two large garlic cloves, and we have this little garlic peeler. Just do this, and then you have peeled garlic. So we're just going to mince this really quickly. And you don't have to, I mean it's really just to preference, but I'm going to try, you know, me and my, chop, my chopping skills, but Let's go ahead and add a little bit of oil. And, okay, so we're gonna add our quarter cup, wait, a quarter cup of onion. And we're just going to saute until this gets nice and translucent. Oh my gosh, smells so good. 
And we're gonna lower this so we don't burn our cebolla, our onion. I added about another tablespoon of onion because a quarter cup was just not cutting it for me. But if you don't love onion, then I would suggest, you know, just going with a quarter cup, okay? So there is our onion. Now let's go ahead and add our two cloves of garlic, okay? So this is good. Our onion is looking translucent. You don't wanna burn your garlic. So let's move this to the back. And now let's get our sausage, um, our, yeah, our, our sweet Italian sausage, okay? So this is what we're using. So ButcherBox, if you guys don't know, ButcherBox is, um, all of their meats are grass-fed, they're sustainably raised, really just their, the quality of their meats is amazing. And um, there's usually a promo running every single month on your first box. So make sure you click the link below to see what it is. This month there is a free turkey with your first box. So, um, you know, check to see what what the promo of the month is. And um, we're just gonna toss that right in. And I personally do not like the casing, um, especially like this, where we need to, you know, just mix everything together. If you wanna grill them, that's a different story. But right now, we are not, so. And this is a pound, in case you're wondering. You can just use a pound of sweet Italian sausage or a pound of ground beef. Um, you know, whatever you prefer, but I'm using sweet Italian sausage if you want to make it just like me. So we want to brown some of the sausage so that it gets that, that nice flavor. Um, and I will show you what I mean by that. Now what we're going to do is add a half a teaspoon of oregano. Let's add that in. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of the chili flakes. That's not gonna be enough to make it spicy, but it will give it a little, you know, a little, little kick, tiny bit. Little pepper to taste. I love pepper though. Okay, we're going to do about a half a teaspoon of, this is fresh basil. All right guys, so as you can tell, you can see those little brown pieces right in there. That's just um, going to add to the flavor. All this right here that looks kind of burned, it's not, it's just deliciousness. Once you add your liquids and it all comes together, none of that will be there, okay? So we have our little sauce here. Remember, we are making our quick version. We're just gonna use the whole thing. Add that right in, splattering all over. Okay, make sure you get all, every last little bit. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go ahead and mix that up. Hold this, because this is cast iron. Okay, ooh, hoo, hoo, deliciousness. Now, if you guys, um, if you guys cook, you know, with tomato sauce or marinara, you guys know that it is pretty acidic. So to balance that out, you can add a little teaspoon of sweetener. That's what we're gonna add here. Um, but of course that's to, um, you know, preference. If you want a little bit more sweetener, you can. I'm literally using one teaspoon. I will taste it and if I need a tiny bit more, then of course I will, I will add that. But we're just using one little teaspoon, okay? And it's not gonna make it sweet. Don't think it's gonna make it sweet. It literally just balances out the acidity in the, in the tomatoes. So, while this, um, you know, it's gonna start to to boil, we're gonna add a little bit more, um, we're gonna add some basil. So remember, this is our fresh basil. I'm gonna add some of that. Oh, it smells so good, I'm gonna, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And we're gonna save a little, okay? Let's save a little for the top. We're gonna save this for the top of the lasagna, just to give it that little green, um, you know, that green color, but we will taste it and see if it needs anything more. I usually add a little bit more oregano, a little bit more because um, what we did was just season the meat. So now um, we're going to season the sauce a little. Okay. And we're gonna add 
teaspoon and another quarter teaspoon of oregano. This is just a little, this is just for flavor, guys, flavor. A little more chili flakes for the spice, but remember, it's not really, it's not gonna be spicy. It just gives it a little kick. If you don't like spice at all, then don't do this last one. All right, guys, so the sauce is pretty much done at this point. I want you to see the thickness, you know, the consistency before I turn it off. So you can tell that this is going to be, you know, like scoopable. It's not gonna spread like liquid on top of the zucchini because remember we are going to layer it with some ricotta and anyway i'm going to show you but i just want you guys to check out the consistency okay so now let's go ahead and turn off the heat and let it sit for a bit while we get the rest of our ingredients prepped okay guys so now that our sauce is pretty much done we're letting it sit so it can thicken up a little and what we're going to get started on here is our mixture so this is our ricotta mixture this is just one pound of whole milk ricotta. And if you want to use skim, I'm sure it would be fine. It's just, it might have um, higher carbs. So we're going to add the entire, uh, what is it, 16 ounces. Okay. And to that, we are going to add our eggs. So we're going to add two eggs to this. And this is gonna um, work as a binder, okay? And add a little bit of pepper, just to taste. A little tiny pinch of salt, because we did add salt to our zucchini. And um, you just don't want it to, you don't want it to be salty, okay? So you can always add salt, but you can't, you know, take it away. So. I will get a whisk if I need it or a fork, let's see. I might not need it, but. So we're gonna mix this together, and once this is ready, we will start to layer. Okay, so now we're going to start off by adding some of our meat sauce. Uh, sometimes I do start off with a layer of zucchini, but this time I went ahead and did meat. So we did our meat sauce, and then we are going to layer our ricotta mixture. So you're just gonna do a nice layer before adding your mozzarella cheese. So a good layer of mozzarella and another layer of zucchini and keep layering until you finish your ingredients. And now we're going to grade some Parmesan or Asiago cheese. So to finish off the um, lasagna, we're just going to finish topping it off with mozzarella and we will put in a little bit of Parmesan. Mine is Asiago, you can use a blend, you can do whatever you want. Um, this is more for flavor. This is not what is going to end up browning at the top. So if you don't like Parmesan or Asiago, then don't use it, but I love it. Here we have our basil. We are topping it off with some fresh basil. And now it is ready to go in the oven, guys. Our oven has been preheating at 350 degrees. Okay guys, so we have our oven heating, preheating at 150 degrees. We're going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes and then we're going to broil the top to get that nice brown like crispy look that you see when you make lasagna. Okay so we did 25 minutes of cooking about five minute broil and this is what this baby looks like. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, girl, I've been fasting all day, so you know your girl's ready to eat. Okay, guys, so we got this out of the oven. You saw us put this together. Now, let's try and get a slice. I usually like to let this sit out for a bit because then everything kind of, you know, comes together and solidifies a bit, but we don't have time for that today because we obviously need to do a taste test and show you what the inside looks like, right? You can see that there. Oh my gosh, can you see that? So as you can see, it hasn't set yet. And that's what happens when it is straight out of the oven. So I would recommend letting it set for about a good 30 minutes. This literally just came out, so you have everything that is still, you know, a bit, um, like everything's very juicy. 
but I will show you once it does set, I will show you what it looks like so you can see the difference from when it first, first comes out of the oven until, um, you know, once it sets and then you can actually cut into it and serve yourself a slice. But trust me when I tell you this is amazing and you guys are going to be obsessed. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna wait for it to, to set. We're just gonna do a taste test with this because the flavor doesn't change much. It is just the consistency. So I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Hang on. I don't get that part because I'm trying to cut into it. Okay, so I'm trying to get a really good bite for you guys. And again, I will show you once it has, once it has set, and it is nice and you know thick so as you can see that is full of flavor cheesiness deliciousness and let's see mm -mm. it's like i haven't eaten this in so long i feel like i can eat it every single day wow guys if you've never tried making a low carb lasagna, you guys have to give this recipe a try. It's absolutely delicious. Nati's actually gonna get mad at me because she wanted to do the taste test with me. She's um, in water polo right now. This is one of her favorite meals, just so you know. And you know Nati is a picky girl. This is phenom. So the only thing missing is some, cheese, some cheesy bread on the side. So we'll have to come up with that recipe for you guys and um, you know put it on the channel very soon but trust me you guys want to make this make sure that you tag me on instagram so that i can reshare your your recreations uh with everyone else everyone loves to see them i love to see them give me any ideas down below if you have a different way of making your low carb lasagna share it with everyone else in the comments and yeah, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you guys are. I share a lot of just quick meal ideas. I share recipes on there as well. Uh, diet tips, keto tips, all of that. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. It's one of my favorites and I know you're going to love it. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.